If you upgraded to Windows 11 and now you want to go back to Windows 10 because it's slow, buggy, or you simply didn't like it, in this video I'm going to show you a quick and simple way to return to Windows 10 without losing your files. And just a quick reminder, this is only a short summary. In the full video on the channel, I explain everything in detail, including limitations, warnings, and what to do if this method doesn't work. So make sure to watch the full video, alright? Okay, let's go to the step-by-step. -step. First, open Windows Settings. Click on System. Now, scroll down a little and click on Recovery. Here you will see the Go Back option. This is the option that lets you go back from Windows 11 to Windows 10. But there's something you need to know. This option only appears if your computer still has the Windows.old folder on the local disk C. This folder is created automatically when you upgrade from Windows 10 to 11, and it contains the files needed to go back. If this folder has been deleted, or if more than 10 days have passed since the upgrade, the option may disappear or show an error. And if Windows 11 was installed from scratch using a USB drive, this option will never appear. If the option is available on your PC, just click Go Back. Then click Next. After that, click No Thanks. Continue clicking Next a few more times. And finally, click Go Back to Windows 10. Your PC will restart and begin the process, which usually takes around 20 to 30 minutes depending on your computer. When it finishes, your system will boot directly into Windows 10 again. And the best part? All your files and programs will still be there, exactly the way they were before. And by the way, if you plan to stay on Windows 10 from now on, there's a very important detail I explain only in the full video. It's something that can help you keep your system safer even after the end of support. So I strongly recommend watching the complete tutorial, because this part is extremely important for anyone who wants to continue using Windows 10. That's it guys, hope this helps and I'll see you in the next one.